I've been uh, homeless for about six years on and off. Yeah, I quit my job. I'm still singing, so I'm still living. I've been living in New York about two years now. I've been homeless. Now I mean, slept on trains for my dreams. I was sleeping in cars, sleeping in parks, storage units, and pretty much anywhere I could find. I was actually homeless for two years before I got my apartment, just dancing on the streets, just doing what I had to do with it. Hello, my name is Summer Monet, and this is my first episode on Talent Recaps What's Hot. In today's episode of What's Hot, we are going to talk about the homeless contestants that have inspired us throughout the years on multiple talent shows. Now, when I watched these videos, I was truly moved. By the way, you should give it a look. Talent Recap has given us a great video compilation of all full viral auditions. But I often think, what happens to them after the show? Where are they now? So I did some digging and these are the things that I found. Number one, we have Mike Young, who made his first appearance on season 12, America's Got Talent. Mike Young has been singing in the streets and the subway for 37 years. You heard me right, 37 years. I've been singing in the subway for roughly 37 years. 37? That's, that's a good thing. But where is he now and what has happened after the show? I truly think he is a true success story. Well, you know, success is what you make it, right? But there's no better stage, there's no better place to be than right here. Before America's Got Talent, I had big dreams like everybody else. I was singing in the subway to support me and my family. But even though I didn't, I didn't win, just from being on the show, my life changed. Mike Young has obviously gained a ton of followers because of his great performance. On America's Got Talent Champions, he said, I was signed with a, a big agent, 14 countries in Europe. I even ne never imagined getting a passport. <laughs> he also created a song with Martin Garrix called Dreamer, and he performed it for us at America's Got Talent Champions. You can also find his music on Spotify and Apple Music. We are so looking forward to hearing his new content. And number two, we have Dennis Lorenzo, who made an appearance on American Idol. He grew up in West Philadelphia, and sadly his father passed away when he was five. Growing up without a dad, it was, it was really tough. I definitely started going down the wrong path. You know, dealing with people that I'm not supposed to be dealing with. I live in a tent. He had such a phenomenal audition in front of the judges Lionel Richie, Katy Perry, and Luke Bryan. We truly enjoyed his performance. But what was memorable about his audition was the hole in his guitar. You just took a guitar. With a hole in it. With a hole in it. <laughs> and you made that thing with three chords have all the soul that it needs. You did it. After making it to top 10, Dennis Lorenzo has seen massive success after American Idol. He has been featured on Bobby Bones' show to talk about his path and career in music. He has also released an EP which is called Fly or Die that you can hear on Apple Music or Spotify. Dennis Lorenzo has also been performing all around the country. We are so excited to see more content from him. Number three, Robbie Hance. He made his appearance on The X Factor UK. His performance honestly broke the internet because you guys truly enjoyed it and so did Simon Cowell. But what happens to Robbie Hance after The X Factor is truly saddening. Not only did he disappear from the show, but he vanished from the scene. My ex-girlfriend applied for me because I, I was lazy, very lazy, and um, I wasn't going to do it for myself. Yeah, I mean, it was a good experience. The judges treated me fairly. I'm absolutely amazed by it. Like. <laughs> Many fans have grown concerned after his mysterious vanishing. There are Facebook groups and pages with hundreds of followers named Help Find Robbie Hance or Where Is Robbie Hance Now? He also created a song called Hey that is available to you on Apple Music and Spotify. Although his vanishing is kind of sad, we hope this is not the end for Robbie Hans. At number four, we have Alonzo Jones, also known as Turf. He made a huge splash on his audition for America's Got Talent with his contortionist dance moves. <laughs> Turf 
Turf got really emotional during his performance because he was able to inspire children around the world to dance. I hope every kid that's watching us who wants to dance, who's ever been told that they can't do it, they got, I just proved to them that you can do it. But what happens to Turf after America's Got Talent? After his audition, he told TMZ he moved to Vegas and people on the street now recognize him from America's Got Talent. After America's Got Talent, he was able to land some great gigs in Las Vegas. He plays a part for the Ultimate Variety Show and the Zombie Burlesque at the V Theater in Las Vegas. When um, the opportunity came for me to come to the Ultimate Variety Show, it was actually like a blessing in disguise. So I'm so happy to be here. I am so excited to see the future of Turf. Personally, I would love to see him on America's Got Talent Champions. Do you guys see that happening? And finally, we have Hollywood Anderson making his performance on American Idol. No one can actually forget his performance because it was so amazing. Hey, Hi. Hi. Unquestionably, the best audition today. The best audition. After American Idol, he was featured on The Ellen Show, and that is huge. Not only that, he has created albums, EPs, and singles, and he also performed in front of audiences around the world. All in all, I would say great success after American Idol. As you can see with the contestants that we spoke of today, some of them had success and not so much for the others, but the main takeaway should be that when an opportunity presents itself to you, you should always make yourself available to take it because you never know where it could lead you. That is my time for today. I would truly love to hear in the comment section below how I did today on my first episode of Talent Recaps What's Hot. I truly also invite you guys to my YouTube channel where I talk about Law of Attraction, Spirituality, and Manifestation. I am Summer Monet for Talent Recap, and now you know what's hot. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit that subscribe button down below, and then we can talk. <laughs>